Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, so in today's episode we will continue assembling the engine in preparations to start it. Uh, what I need to do is I need to finish the cooling system and uh, take off the valve cover, clean it up, uh, check the valve clearances, assemble everything back together. We'll also change all the gaskets uh, on the way. Then I also have the new spark plug wires and the new coil. Uh, so yeah, we will upgrade also the ignition system a little bit, uh, new spark plugs. Um, other than that, uh, I think uh, the engine is more or less ready to, to get turned over. So we'll put the oil, oil filter. And yeah, fingers crossed, uh, we will uh, start the car for the very first time in a very long time. So yeah, let's uh, not waste any more time and let's get right into it. So guys, the valve uh, cover is removed, exposing the head and uh, basically what I thought is I will double check the valve clearances before uh, starting the engine. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Other than that, uh, the valve train looks in decent shape. There is no uh, scoring, no excessive wear, rocker arms look uh, good, the, the camshaft uh, looks good. Um, so yeah. Other than that, I uh, found some RTV here that will be removing and replacing the valve cover gasket. Um, with the valve cover, I don't know what to do, clean it or paint it, we will see. But yeah, uh, let's get into adjusting the valve, uh, valve clearances.
Okay, guys, so with the valves uh, adjusted, uh, I hope uh, I kind of don't like this uh, by feel uh, adjustments, but uh, all of them seem to be having a light drag on the 0.25 millimeters uh, filler gauge, so that should be good. So yeah, let's have a look at this uh, valve cover. Let's uh, clean it up real quick. I'm going to leave it for now uh, raw aluminum and not going to paint it. And uh, if I change my mind, I can always do it in the future. So yeah, let's get into it. cleaned up fairly well for what it is uh, without parts uh, washer I don't think I can get it any better with the time that I have so I'm gonna say it's gonna be good uh, I mean it's clean so yeah uh, now let's uh, flip it and uh, clean the the outside Thank you. 
So guys, a quick little update here. Um, as you've seen, we have uh, thrown back the valve cover, the gaskets, the moon-shaped uh, plugs for the rocker arms. I have installed the spark plugs, uh, the new ones, Bosch. Um, yeah, still need to torque them. New spark plug wires, uh, still need to plug them in and I need to plug them into the distributor. On the other side, I have also off camera installed the, the intake boot, the vacuum hoses, idle control valve, uh, air box, uh, connected everything. So yeah, we're getting close here to turning it over. See if we build pressure, I need to disconnect the fuel uh, pump relay. Then we'll quickly install the oil filter, top of the oil. Uh, I think we're almost ready to turn it over. I'm excited, but at the same time, a little uh, worried. It's, uh, yeah nerve-wracking a little bit i guess but i think it's uh, gonna be good so yeah let's continue here okay guys uh, let's turn it over and see if the light goes off goes off for the oil pressure without uh, the fuel pump relay Okay, we saw the light go out, very good. So we have oil pressure. Okay guys, the fuel pump really is in. Uh, oil is at the good level. Uh, nothing seems to be smelling of burned wires. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try to turn it over and see if it will start up. Okay guys, quick little update on what I have uh, checked so far in my uh, no fuel uh, saga. <laughs> we jumped the main relay, uh, that did not help. We jumped the fuel pump relay, that also did not help. And then I checked the resistance at the CPS sensor, uh, that checks out. Um, I have a second CPS uh, sensor, uh, plugged that in, still no luck. Then I checked for spark, apparently I also don't have spark for whatever reason, so I checked the, the plus uh, cable, the wire, the green wire on the coil, that checks out, uh, everything is good there. I checked the continuity for wires in the C101 socket, that all checks out. I checked the small little positive cable that runs from the, from the battery uh, and the fuse, uh, that all checks out, so that's all good and, uh, and great. And then uh, I was measuring some uh, in the ECU, the by the ECU plug, I was measuring for the voltages and the resistance for the CPS. And what do you know? The CPS resistance is not uh, existent at the ECU. So I had a closer look at these uh, sockets, these two. And what do you know? <laughs> I think I had them uh, mixed up. So I flipped them back and I think that was our issue. Now I have the reading at the ECU. So let's go ahead and try to turn over the engine and see if it, uh, if uh, that was the issue. I think it is. Let's go ahead and do that now. It's running so good. Okay, guys, this is great. So the engine is running. Uh, now what I will do, I will uh, put in the coolant. We can bleed the, real quick the system and uh, yeah, let it warm up. Uh, see how it idles, how everything, if there's no leaks. Um, yeah, bleed the power steering, check for leaks again. <laughs> And uh, yeah, hopefully all good. So let's uh, go ahead and top off the cooling system.
Okay guys, so the, the coolant is in the car. I have bled the system, which was not easy. Uh, it's a bit of a pain on this car. Um, I don't think even it's at 100% yet. So we will continue with that later on. Yeah, so she's a runner. I'm really happy. This is a huge milestone uh, for me on this project. And the, the next uh, milestone will be to make this car drive. So this is what I'm going to be focusing uh, next. Uh, so that will be the front suspension. Um, yeah control arms uh, assembling the struts uh, all of that good stuff which will most likely be in the future videos um, i started to travel for work so it might be a little difficult to to put out uh, regular videos i'll try to do my best so yeah other than that i'm really happy with the progress i'm really happy that it runs and uh, yeah this will be the end for this episode guys thanks for watching consider subscribing like the video and i'll see you next time in another one <laughs> bye bye